Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Orbital Potato. This is Life in Bunker by Flock Studios, and they were kind enough to give me a little code pre-release so I could show it to you guys. Now, this is a really, really interesting game. It takes a lot of really, really cool ideas and rolls them up into this nice bunker building package, and... Uh, and I really quite like it. Uh, what are we going to go for? We're going to go for a simple name. We're going to call this uh, Potatoes Bunker. I, I don't really know why it does that. Whenever I press uh, the... the What is that? A semicolon? That's not a semicolon. That's an apostrophe. Get it right, Potato. Anyway, yes, you can, you can choose to adjust uh, how your world's going to look. We're not going to go through the tutorial because I've already done a little bit of that. And uh, I want to say I know like 60% how to play. I think that that's, uh, that that's totally fair to say. And this is our bunker, right? This is our bunker. Let's pause things and talk about a couple of fundamental concepts, yo. Alright, so we've got the entrance over here. You left click on things and select them. It's a pretty simple uh, base building mechanic, I suppose. Um, yes, yeah, so we've got the entrance over here. And in 50 cycles, it will actually open if the... Um, if the outside world is habitable, so it's quite a cool concept. I don't know, I've never gone outside before, so I guess you guys will be along for the journey with me. Um, but yeah, it's it's a pretty cool idea, I kind of like it. Uh, we've got a whole bunch of stuff inside. We've got some incubators to hatch us uh, some new population, because of course we uh, we clone we clone them, them, them populations. Uh, we've got some purifiers in here, and that gives us oxygen. Oxygen is pretty darn important, you know, for, for breathing and such like. Um, if we go over here, we've got some storage containers, stores building materials, building materials. Hey, guess what? You use them to build stuff. Funny that, eh? Funny. Um, over here, waste container. We store garbage that we get from, from rubbles and debris and stuff. That's cool. Um, storage container over here for ore. You can select a different type of storage. You've got the fridge over there. You've got some water pump to pump water. And you've got a mini reactor to create you some power. Um, you got some doors here and here. You got walls. You got floors. You got a you got a heck of a lot of everything. All right. So uh, you can build loads of different stuff. You can build walls in here, floors in here, uh, and we can go to the electricity view or the water view if we click on these two buttons right there. I'm just trying to give you like the the ultimate the ultimate quick rundown just so you know roughly what the heck is going on. Also, this is not the size of our bunker. This is not going to be the permanent size of our bunker. We do indeed want to expand um, because we need we need to get loads of stuff. We absolutely need to do uh, to do that, and and we plan on doing it. All right. First things first. We're going to need to assign some some jobs to our people because currently, right, nobody has a profession, and professions actually determine what people are going to do. So I think we'll go for a nice a nice little cohort of workers. Maybe uh, you can't be a worker. You're too dumb, apparently. I'll make you, I'll make you a cook. Yeah, I'll make you a cook. I'll make you a janitor. And we need one more worker. I mean, yeah, I suppose we can make you a farmer. A bit early, but hey-ho. Get another worker, and we'll make you a farmer. Did, did, did we set an engineer? We haven't set an engineer. You can be an engineer. Okay, fantastic. Oh, you can be... I don't know what you can be. You can, you can do nothing for now, buddy. You can, you can just be, you can be free. All right, let's resume it, and uh, and fingers crossed we don't die too hard. So, over here, we've got a rift, and this is really, really important because it allows us to access multiple levels. Very, very cool indeed. Uh, we've also got an ore deposit over here, which will give us access to a whole bunch of ore. Now, there are some structures that require uh, ore. Not all for these ones, for example. Waste containers only require building materials, of which we've got, you know, shit tons of them right now. Um, but we are going to be going for... Uh, a mining machine, and fingers crossed we'll be able to get that with a relative amount of ease. Uh, could get another incubator if we wanted to, but, you know, I don't really feel the need to. I think we'll just, uh, yeah, we'll just place that over there, and obviously we're not actually going to get to it for a little while, because we're, we've got to do a little bit of demolition before we actually get in get in there. But uh, but for now, I think, uh, I think that's a good place to have it. So, a little bit of an interesting concept in this game is you've got to drag things out, and then you've got to uh, confirm that you actually want to to do the deed. And as soon as you do the deed, as soon as you say you want to do the deed, everybody is going to come rushing on over there, which is uh, which is a good thing, I think. And they'll all... 
they'll all uh, they'll all come and help. All right, so let's stick in a single door here. I think that that is a totally legitimate option. Uh, just that we've got some sort of a way to communicate with the outside world. Could go for a double door if we wanted. A double door might be might be in order, but you know what? We've placed a single door, and uh, if there's anything that shows shows inconsistency, it's it's going and uh, replacing something that you've just placed. Also, something else to note, uh, the floors that you build um, can sort of dictate what you actually build on them. So, for example, this concrete floor allows uh, your water pump and your uh, your water pump and your mini reactor and your bigger reactor to exist. Storage containers and stuff can go on this floor as well. Uh, red floor and so on. Pretty simple. Uh, and it does say, it does say, but it's not very obvious. It's not very apparent. So I think what we need to do is we need to create a little a little pathway. In fact, you know what? Do we even want to do that? I don't think we want to do that. I think we just want to go straight up here. Yeah, we'll confirm that. So, something that I really like about this game is that there is a whole bunch of simulated events, right? So, you can have some really, really annoying shite that, uh, that involves roof collapses and pretty much everything that you would expect from living in a bunker. Um, it's uh, it's a it's a really really interesting um, way of going about things. You can see what everybody can do here. Very very RimWorld esque in that sort of approach. You're a scientist. Oh, that's cool. I like that. I like that a lot. Can I set you as a scientist? Yeah, I'll set you as a scientist. Does anybody else not have anything to do? We'll get another janitor. We'll get another cook maybe. We'll get another worker. Just give everybody a job. We need to get some research uh, set up or research capability set up, and uh, you know we've got a little overview of our power as well. But yeah, we ain't doing so hot for food. We need to we need to get us some food sorted out. Yeah, we need to get some uh, some vegetable patches because I I don't want to starve. No siree. We place a vegetable patch in here. It can only be built on a metal floor. All right, so we're gonna have to expand this room. That's kind of cool. I like that. I like how we uh, how we uh, are forced to to sort of do that. I think it makes a really, really interesting dynamic. Oh, shit. We're going to need to get uh, a tampered drill research to expand and destroy this uh, this rocky area. Huh. All right. Well, that changes things a little bit. I guess we're going to expand over here then. I'll just take this whole area. Yep. Yeah, I'll queue that up. Now, you should not be working because I don't think you've got power. Small earthquakes can cause landfills and empty on empty tiles. Use janitors to clean debris. You cannot build on these. Yeah, so that's what our janitors are going to do. And, uh, you know, that was the sort of events that I was talking about. Shit's going to hit the fan sort of thing. All right, we need to expand our power network. As I've talked about a little bit earlier, we'll go into the power display. And uh, we, we should be able to link things up. I think that should, uh, should actually be fine. We'll queue that up for building. I don't really know the whole point of um, the whole point of actually confirming what you what you what you want to place. I think it's a, an interesting mechanic. Uh, I don't really understand why why it's a thing. I must I must confess I do not understand why it's a thing. And um, because I always forget to do it, it's, <laughs> it was it's a little bit daft. But you know what? I kind of like it. It's kind of different. It's kind of different. Let's expand that up there as well, and we'll take that. All right, so we do just want like a really, really big room out here. We are gonna eventually get on over to uh, to the rift, but not for now. We don't really need to worry about it too, too much at this current moment in time. All right, everything's looking pretty good. Everything's looking pretty good. Could go down a level. Let me tell you, spoilers: there ain't nothing here. <laughs> that's uh, that's that's what's going on. There's nothing there. And uh, we need a metal floor. I think it was a metal floor. Yeah, stainless steel floor. Let's get ourselves, let's get ourselves a nice room. Yep. There we go. Okay, so something has been discovered that is, uh, that is a mole manhole. And, and some evil baddies can come out of it. It ain't so great. It ain't so great. What's wrong with you, buddy? Are you okay? It looks like there was a little bit of uh, damage going on or something. I don't quite know what was happening, but hey-ho. Our workers are going to town. Awesome to see. Everybody is uh, is hunky dory. The 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 mining drill is working is working just fine. That's that's awesome. That's really really cool. All right, uh, we are going to get some walls set up because you know, freaking freaking walls, freaking 
freaking walls. We need some walls to, you know, really express our dominance over uh, over the landscape. Maybe we want a single door in there. Yeah, just so that we can keep uh, continual access. You know what? Maybe we just want to get rid of this and have a, a like a double door up here, so we can actually access this area, but also access the uh, the rift because we are eventually going to put an elevator in there. That is going to happen. Let's do that. I think let's let's bloody well do that. Let's get a double door. You know, nothing says proper extravagance like a double door, like a double door. And let's just take all of this up as well because why not? Why the heck not? Let's do it. You know, since my workers have got nothing better to do, might as well. All right, it's about time that we place down some of those some of those darned vegetable patches. Now, we will we will eventually research other stuff. I guarantee you that. I guarantee you that. Now, how much space do we need? We need seemingly quite a lot of space. Is that going to be enough space? Like, is that going to fly? I don't I don't really know if that's going to gonna fly I'm afraid hmm yeah let's let's try with just one vegetable patch I guess I guess we'll sort of we'll sort of try that it might not be enough we may have to come back and readjust our our expectations but hey ho for now that ain't looking too bad it's pretty good we're getting ore ore is important that's awesome all right so let me guess you don't have power you're waiting. You've, you're waiting for a farmer. Uh, you need water and you need power. That sort of does figure, you know. Bear in mind that uh, it's a vegetable patch. Uh, in fact, no. We'll get rid of you there. We'll take you out there. Perfect. Place that in there, and we'll drag you along a little bit, and we'll confirm it. Perfect. Simple as that. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Fingers crossed, that should be very, very easy for everybody to do. And we should be planting stuff very, very soon indeed. Yeah. I mean, we do have some farmers, don't we? Pretty sure I set some farmers. We've got a cook. You're an engineer. You're a janitor. You're a scientist. Who's the farmer folk? Did we not set any farmer folk? That's my bad. Okay, we'll take somebody off engineering duty. Holy shit. Fucking hell. Debris pile out there. Not super thrilled by that, but hey-ho. Alright, we've got a farmer. You wanna... You wanna come on and uh, work on, uh, on the, the vegetable uh, patch? Pretty cool. I like it. I like it a lot. Things are going well. I'm happy. I'm happy that we're, you know, we're not getting into too much uh too much problems at this current moment so do we want to build some life support stuff i don't feel that we really need to build any life support stuff yeah i mean i feel that we're doing we're doing pretty much fine for everything you know oxygen is hunky dory utilities power is hunky dory water is hunky dory you know we've got more than enough extra capacity of oxygen more than enough extra capacity of power you know i actually think that we're we're not doing too darn badly I think that's that's kind of nice. Um, we are going to need to get a refinery, which is only allowed to be built on concrete floor, which is kind of annoying because we don't have any concrete floor, and the area around our base is quite uh, it's quite pernickety. Let's try for it anyway. Let's try and take out as much of this stuff as possible. There we go. We'll just expand into here because ideally, I would like to get access to. An extra area where I can uh, where I can plonk my refinery because as you can see, refinery it will transform ore into building materials. This is what I was talking about earlier about what ore is actually needed for. We're gonna need a fair amount of ore, so uh, it's it's good that we started off uh, our, our ore mining operation early. I think it's kind of cool. All right, uh, we want to build some walls around this uh, this place so that. We don't have any nonsense going on, and it's a concrete floor that is required, I think. Yes, I think it is. Alright. Cue these up. Yeah, we won't worry too much about this patch. Oh, we need a janitor in here right now. You see that? You see these bad folk that are coming up against us? This is what we have to deal with, folks. 
This is what we have to deal with. Okay, set that there. Demolish these two. Perfect. Alright. We're doing well. We're doing well. We're doing a little bit of everything at once. Which is, uh... I don't want to say perhaps a bad idea. But perhaps it's a bad idea, you know? Just in case. Might be a, a great idea not to do that. Alright. It's not where I wanted to place a wall. But, you know, okay. Suit yourself. There's going to be no access to the outside world. This is going to be literally just an extension of uh, the other room over there. Because I don't really think we need it. I don't really think we need... Uh, we need a door here. Who gives a damn? It's the same room. You know, this is sort of our uh, our industrial room, so to speak. It's not our storage room. That's our storage room. That's our life room, I guess. Because it's got an incubator in. Which is alright, I guess. Also, let's, let's get some freaking incubators on. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's get three embryos uh, on. Yeah, let's uh, let's start them start them cooking. Can you cook an embryo? Apparently, um, maybe that's offensive. I don't know. I hope it's not. Uh, production, refinery, plonk you down here. I don't think we need any. Yeah, we'll just stick it in there. I mean, that fits quite well. Quite like the look of that. Yeah, it's looking. This place is looking bad. Badass! Like, holy cow, we haven't even uh, gone to a second level. We have, haven't even explored our, our area over here, but it's looking pretty good. How much food we got? Okay, okay, I'm liking this. I'm liking this. This is uh, this is good news. This is this is good news. This is really good news. And the fridge, I would love to. Uh, I would love to put vegetables in the fridge, please, if at all possible, because we ain't got no fish. But we are making vegetables. We've got a vegetable patch. And uh, we're going to store some vegetables in the fridge. As soon as we actually have vegetables available for storage. Fingers crossed. Nobody gets too darn hungry. Uh, yeah. People are pretty hungry. People are pretty hungry. You're slacking. I don't like... That's not your current activity. Slacking is not an activity. Slacking is the lack of activity. I would say. Maybe. Hey ho. Let's get some power set up. Because we need some power. Of course we do. Uh, I like how you can sort of build around any surface. So you can sort of build in any direction around an object. And uh, in all likelihood it'll probably end up powering it. Which I think is quite nice. We are getting more people. We're, uh, you know, we're 25% of the way through getting some more folk on board. Very, very excited about that. Let's, uh, let's, you know what, let's just, let's just go completely stark, uh, raving mad. And let's get yet more extravagant ore mining operations. There we go. I'm just trying to make this look a little bit like a square. Just so it looks a little bit less trash. You know, usually with everything I build, it's got the Orbital Potato brand of, uh, of, of, of trash guarantee. You know, so you're guaranteed to get a substandard product from it. Uh, now, this is exactly where we can um, produce building materials from our current number of ore supplies. So, you know what? Boom. Let's set five up to, to produce and look at our building materials increase. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. It's lovely. Absolutely lovely. It's fantastic. It's gosh darned amazing. Simple. Simple as that, eh? Simple as that. And, uh, you know, for five, it only takes one ore. So we get five building materials for one ore. We're going to have to stay on top of that a little bit. Um, yeah, so we want to make sure that that doesn't actually hinder us in any way. Oops, something is just broken down. If you didn't forget to assign an engineer, we'll quickly deal with this issue. Yeah, we do have an engineer somewhere, I think. I think we had an engineer. Our residents are starving. You should draw your attention to this before it's too late. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Um, we don't have an engineer. Let's assign an engineer. I, for, I thought we did assign an engineer. I think we did have an engineer, but then we changed them to farmer. So, whatever. We've got an engineer now, and that's all that really matters. Do we have any vegetables in storage yet? We do have some vegetables in storage. Awesome. Our oxygen level has begun to decrease. Might have been caused by the population's rapid growth or by a faulty air purifier. Well, I can tell you for free that it's the fact that our air purifiers ain't doing so good right now. Engineer, 
please get on this. Please, please fix, please fix, please fix fast. Alright, so what is this? Residents need a shower pod. Yeah, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Earthquake caused a landfill. Oh my god, really? Alright, we're fixing things. Things are being fixed. Thank Lord. Thank the Lord. Thank goodness. Yeah, we don't have nearly enough oxygen at the moment, but we're working on it. We're working on it, which is important. Uh, and that's our oxygen pretty much fixed. Awesome. All right, ladies and gents, hopefully you've enjoyed this first episode of Life in Bunker. I quite like it. I'm quite looking forward to actually expanding my bunker out. There's a mole man over there who I'm, uh, I don't want to say I'm a little bit worried about, but, you know, it's something that we can uh, be a little bit wary of. I'm really enjoying this game at the moment. Hopefully you guys are as well. If you have enjoyed it, you know, subscribe, like if you want to see more. And uh, yeah, I'll be back for another episode very, very soon. But for now, and from me, I've been Obert Potato, and I'll see you next time. Bye!